But I just have to say how excited we are. As you could probably tell from the last thing that Carrie said just before we went into the music about the fact that we got Wayne Hemingway, the creator of Red or Dead, the, the eminence grease when it comes to <laughs> design and all things fashion and lifestyle. And, and he's got this new thing. It's a new thing called Sample. Um, and it's back in Greenwich Peninsula today with the latest seasonal offering of creative craftsmanship in fashion, design, lifestyle products, food and much more. Showcasing some of the best in emerging new talent, the all-day event will have something for everyone, even if it's just to enjoy the atmosphere and food stalls, take a browse or grab a bargain. Here to tell us about it and why you should be there, it's the man himself, Wayne Hemingway. Yay. Morning. We are Good so morning. glad morning. to have you in. Yeah, it's like, I, I just love your heart. You have such a lovely heart. So I'm wanting to get a little bit of a sense of that. And immediately, as David's just read that intro, so it's showcasing some of the best emerging new talent. You are yet again mentoring, pushing forward new yeah, talent. Well, we, had, we had such a, a lucky break as, as young people. Myself, when I say we, myself and my wife, you know, we came to London just about 40 years ago now. Wow. And, um, you know, both came from, you know, I don't want to sound like a sob story, but proper working class backgrounds in Lancashire. You know, I, my, my father had left when I was three. Um, Geraldine was one, of, was one of five daughters living in a two up, two down house yeah. in Burnley. And we, and we came to London because we, you know, what we saw that London had more. The things in our life that were important were dancing, records, <laughs> bands, dressing up, <laughs> all the things that you, sh that you should be into. And we still are. Yeah. Um, were you a new romantic? Uh, well, at that, at that time in 79, we'd have come out of punk and it would have been, it was a combination of new romantic because, uh, you know, the, the clubs down here were fantastic. But my yeah. favourite club was actually the Beat Route. Oh, <gasps> uh, yeah, yeah. You were a soul boy. So, which, was, which had everything, didn't had it? Every, it had yeah, yeah. Kid Creole nights. music, you know, yes. Mino Popeye, Cotamunda, yes. but a bit, a bit of rockabilly. You know, Spandau Ballet were down there with their foot, wearing their kilts before, yeah. before To Cut A Long Story Short yeah. came out. <laughs> and there was Boy George on the door and, and Philip salon and all of that but it was a mixture of of all kinds of music you'd hear a bit of northern soul wouldn't you a bit of funk it was incredibly creative wasn't it it was eclectic. amazing tiny little club but amazing yeah so that was my that's my kind of eclectic love of music and that that club summed it up really but when we came down to london we were very lucky you know i've i formed a band ran out of money uh, we had to get some money from somewhere we emptied our wardrobe onto camden market it was six pound for the rent we took 300 quid and uh, and, wow. and and that was how we got started and it, and J london seemed crazily generous at, at the time you know we rent was really cheap you know, i don't want to make young people feel feel bad about this but rent was was you could either squat quite easily when it was when it wasn't difficult to squat and, and almost allowed you know you could rent places what was the rent on our flat a decent sized flat was 12 pounds a week you wow. could you could That's rent crazy, a, you could it? rent a big stall on camden for six pound then there was kenny Mar kensington market where we rented a store for 10 pounds a week and so you didn't have to have any because you could still earn, you could earn that kind of money by working in a bar and stuff quite yeah, easily sure. and and it wasn't hard to get a job in a bar or, or, or doing or you in didn't a shop. have to have rich parents no you didn't have to have the bank of mum and dad no. and so London was incre incredibly generous to us and and we were able to build our business without any money we never borrowed any money we never had a bank overdraft or anything like never that's needed. incredible and, when but, you think but, about but, starting a business but there was loads of us like that yeah. you know Robert was Robert Elms was like that you can you, you were probably you look back yeah. and we were all it, Robert was part of that scene yeah, as well wasn't yeah, he yeah and it was and, f and for lots of us who came through that that background it and but today isn't the same so and we've been lucky. We've earned a lot of money. You know, we sold Red or Dead 20 years ago now, but with all the stuff that we do today, we made money out of that, obviously. Um, with all the things that we do today, all the urban design, we, we, we do very, very well, and the designs we do for John Lewis and all of that. But we're, but both myself and my wife and everybody that works at Hemingway Design feels that we've got to do our bit to, to, to try and recreate that landscape that, that my generation had. You can't... When I, when I grew up, and when Geraldine grew up, there was a feeling that didn't matter what background, you, was, you never, the word disadvantage was never used. That's no. so true. It was always, if you rolled up your sleeves, put a bit of elbow grease yeah. on, you would probably do better than your parents. It's actually really reassuring so to hear this because the phrase that so many people use is, when I was young, blah, 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 blah. But what you're actually saying, and you're highlighting the fact that 
When we were young, it was a different world. There were many more opportunities. There were many more openings. There was a chance to actually base yourself in London, the place where everything was happening, and not have to work 70 hours a week just to pay rent. But there's no reason for it not... You, you can't go back and think that, oh, well, that, that's, that was then and this is now and we've, we're better today. There are There's loads of things that are better today. Yes. Absolutely. You know, London is a much safer place. There are some public transports better. Mm -hmm. that, you know, there are so much better about it. But, there, but I do think it's a little bit harder from, if you come from certain backgrounds to make it. Obviously, we've got the internet, but that doesn't solve everything. Mm -hmm. and I, but I think there are ways... And there is enough money around to recreate some of those opportunities. And that's what Sample does to an extent. It, you know, what we are doing is, you know, for 40 quid, I think it is today, for, you, can, you can take a small space, which is equivalent to six quid b back then. Yes. And, and you can get in front of, there'll be 10,000 people there at, wow. at, at the Greenwich Peninsula today. And, and you'll be able to, you know, we've, we've, we've selected the, the best that we can find of, of young startups, of food producers, both food that you can take away and food that you can sit in there and, and eat. I see, so even the food is part of... Yeah, everything's part of it, yeah. So it's start-up food producers, it. it's start-up fashion designers, it's jewellery, it's interiors, it, it, it's everything you can think. And then there's workshops you can have with them and, and there's start-up DJs. So it, it feels like a little, a little mini festival down on the Greenwich Peninsula for... And it's free. That's, yeah. the, that's the most important thing. And how long has no this been charge. going? Is this, like David said, it was a new thing. Is it yeah, a new it's thing? fairly new. This we've, we've only been got, we've, we've been doing something a bit longer down there called the Urban Village Fate. Um, but this, this is reasonably new. And, and it's great because, you know, what we're doing is, this is funded by a developer down there who are developing. And this is, this is where I think you can, if, if, we, if you can get people like us who want to bring some social value back and you can then, Pair, pair us with a, a developer or somebody who's making money, which business yes. has to make money. Yeah. Uh, but they, but they also agree that they can give something back, um, and it helps them. Obviously, it helps them market the place. It gets people down there, but it's actually giving something back to the public because they can come and see. Because what we what we what we try and do is get these traders to bring their new spring wares, and it is the first weekend of spring. Remember, so yeah. you can sample the new wares of spring. And so the, the traders get in front of 10,000 people, they make their money, they, make their, they, get on, they get talked about in the press and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it's a win-win. They learn as well, because to an extent, we tr we're, we're going to try and build this so that we're, we've got a team of people mentoring these startups as well. Over the, that's what we're trying to do on the peninsula over the next, next few years. And, um, you know, and w but we, we also do this around, around the UK. All at, we're, you know, we're doing it in Blackburn. We're doing it in where, where I was brought up, in Morecambe, where I was born. So it's in not Red just Car. a London thing. You're, you're, you're yeah, taking yeah, it we, out across We've the got country. teams working all around the UK. It's like a travelling caravan of opportunity. Yeah, we're, we're just... And, and it's, it's right that we, in our position, sh should, should get on and do this. And for some of them, we get paid to do it. And other ones, we don't get paid to do it. And it, it's just so right. So do you... Just thinking about you as a designer yourself, do you walk around some of those stores and put your critical eye on them and think, hmm... Well, yeah, you, you do. You naturally do that. <laughs> do you mentor, or, in other or words? Or are there you, others you, that you just think, wow, there's... This there are loads that are wow, yeah. and I've got... Um, I know I'll be spending myself... <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, and I'm one of these. They put I'm stuff one, aside already, haven't yeah, they? Well, I, I can I, see. I'm one of these ones who kind of, even though we, we design stuff and it can sound hypocritical, you know, believe in buying sensibly and, and not overspending and, and, and you know, and not not just making things last and reusing. That's always been our, our philosophy. But w when I get there today, I know that I'll be tempted. It's kind of. I'll know that I shouldn't be buying all the stuff that I'll buy, <laughs> but that at least I know I'm helping out a, a, some yeah. startup businesses, and it's not going to some fat cat somewhere, and uh, or you know, and it's and it's not it's not going to a big corporation. So yeah. at it's least I can feel good about hard, it. It's hard, I think, as a buyer to tell the difference because I think actually the big fat cats have worked out make it look like it's... Well, this isn't. Yeah, we, we've absolutely. I can assure you, this is filtered out. This, this is genuinely independent not just necessarily young any age but independent yeah. people many of them who are have probably got a job in the week and they're trying out or they're supplementing sure. i don't think it's so much supplementing their income i think i'm wrong there actually i think it's more about this might be following their passion at a weekend um or it might only be following because we only do this particular event at the start of every season so four times a year and there are yeah. some traders who only trade at our events wow so they've got they, they might they might have jobs 
in anything really but then they're four times a year they're, they're, this is a release for them and a release what of a their creativity opportunity. and for you so you're doing all your design you're still doing all your big work as it were yeah yeah what where's your heart at now where how do you is it one of those things where you do your work and you really enjoy that because you're creative but actually when you do this stuff that's yeah where i think I, magic happens uh, the heart of Hemingway Design really is in, we have a, a mantra saying design is about improving things that matter in life. So we only take on projects that have a social value. We do make money, you know, you have to make money yeah, to pay, course, all, the pay yeah. all the team. But we, we set up nearly everything that we do has, has at the end of it whether it's making sure that we only work with products that are made in the UK, are sustainable, whether it's an event that's free and giving and, 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 and working with the community to put that event on, yeah. you know, whether it's um, make it, making sure that when we do urban design, we're mentoring a team that, that, of young people with us and we're not just imposing design on people. That's how, and, and we can do that because, because you know, 58 years old, yeah. And, and we've earned enough money and we don't need to chase, you know, we don't need to chase getting rich anymore. That's How can people find out about it? Because this sounds brilliant. Yeah. Uh, well, I think at this stage, you know, you, you just go down there. We open at 11 o'clock. You come mm -hmm. out of North Greenwich Tube Station, which is a lot closer to central London than you, than you think. It, it'll take me 15 minutes to get here from, from, Ox, from, from, Oxford, from Oxford Circle. Well, I'll just walk down wow, to Bond what Street. what line's it on? It's on the Jubilee line. So oh. you, you just come straight. Oh, you get the bus or whatever. Yeah. Uh, uh, or you can, or you can come across from the other side on the Emirates. We're we're on till about seven, seven thirty, seven thirty tonight. If you go onto the Hemingway Design website, HemingwayDesign.co.uk, and click on the top right hand corner, and you'll see events and click on sample and it, and all the details are there. You'll find out about all the traders, and it's free, totally and utterly free. That is absolutely fantastic. fantastic. Wayne Hemingway, thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank, thank you. Thanks. It sounds Lovely like a brilliant thing to do, doesn't it? It sounds amazing. Now, you know, is it the billboard? Is it time for the billboard? It certainly.